Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearthstone. What is this button? Button press. Ooh. What's happening? Oh god, it's Hydra. A new way to play standard. In standard, only the newest cards can be used. Interesting. Sta standard. Year of the Kraken. The cards you can use in standard change each year. Okay. Standard. Standard. Wild. Wild. Only basic, classic, and last two years of cards can be used. All cards can be used. Tw uh, switching to standard. Okay. Special quest. Five old guard packs. Win two games in standard format to get two packs of old gods. You've got some standard decks. Yes. But you can always create more in your collection. Apparently, only my druid of taunt. Does it have to be ranked or can it just be... I, w I want my card packs. So, yeah, none. N these are all wild, I guess. Interesting. All right. Well, let's play some matches then. Let's just get right into it. Now, obviously, Whispers of the Old Gods has landed. So welcome to Ragestone Whispers of the Old Gods. Uh, we're going to hopefully knock these out real quick so we can get the card packs. And then I'll buy the card packs. And then we'll open the card packs. And then we'll make decks with the card packs. And then we'll play with some Whispers and some Old Gods. That's the plan. So let's ease into it. We're easing in. Also, if you can hear the dryer in the background, I apologize. And if you can hear my fan in the background, I apologize. It's fucking hot as shit in here. Also, I'm out of clothes. So, you know, I got two problems on either front. Uh, historically a bad move, but I'm gonna, nah, I don't wanna do it. Cause I, I'm, it's, it's not good cause I lose a mana. I'll just wait a turn and use it then in the hopes that this person doesn't actually have anything. Gabriel. How you doing, Gabriel? I really should have made tea before I did this. Oh well, live and learn. I'll do this episode and then go make tea and then do some more episodes. There we go. That's more like it. Oh god. Alright, I have a theory. If you're a big Harry Potter fan, you're gonna love this theory. Beginning of movie 5, Order of the Phoenix. When Harry gets the letter from the Ministry of Magic informing him that he's done magic in the presence of a muggle and that he's hereby expelled from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, right? The letter is signed Mathelda Hopkirk, and that is also who signs it in the book, okay? However, I'm convinced that the actual voice in the letter, because it's in like a howler format, is Umbridge. Because if you think uh, how Umbridge sounds, and like how she speaks in the movie, it's exactly what that howler sounds like. So I'm convinced it's Umbridge. So here's the real question. Did they, A, not want to bring in a whole nother actress just to provide a voice, so they just had Umbridge do it to save time? Or B, was Umbridge like superseding Hopkirk? and used her authority to forge the letter without Hopkirk ever finding out. Because Umbridge is not a part of that department. She is senior undersecretary to the Ministry of Magic. I think that means she's like his assistant, basically. Oh, look, you already have new cards. Oh, God, okay. He already has new cards. That might be a problem, but we'll just... Hopefully knock him out before uh, before that becomes an issue. Anyway, my theory is that she, you know, did it without Hopkirk knowing. Because she sent the Dementors, right? So she knew all this going ahead of time. Umbridge sent the Dementors. So she knew all this ahead of time. Meaning that she probably had the letter on Welcome the way the as soon as she sent loose the Dementors. Like it was probably like the same day, like, you know? You feel me? You guys getting it? I hope you guys are getting it. I wonder if I should just rush him down, or if I should, like, do some trades and stuff. I don't really have much. I'll just play another time. And, uh, we'll do that. You can't get through both taunts, so... Anyway, that was just something that occurred to me, because I've been watching the Harry Potter movies over the last couple of days. Just because they're fun. They're fun to watch. So I've been marathoning them. You know, that kind of stuff, so... It's been good times, man. It's been good times. 
So you're gonna kill that one first? Seems to be your plan. Uh, shield slam. Ah, interesting. Okay. You got rid of one taunt. I personally would have gone after the 8 8 because he's. does more damage. Um. I would trade because there's a 50 50 chance that my, um, demolisher is going to kill the 4 2 next turn. So I would trade. Deal one damage to all of the minions. Interesting. Do you have a way to actually kill it? Oh, he might. Oh, he's fire war axing. Oh, no. Right in the face. That was brutal. Brutal amount of damage for him to take. Poop. Anyway. Druid of Taunt! Just keep throwing down taunts. Huh. <sighs> Brawl, okay. Come on, me. I've 50. I've got a greater chance of having a minion left over. Fuck you! Are you serious? Ah, uh, you cunt. What a what a dick. Is he gonna hit me in the face or is he gonna keep it? He's gonna keep it, okay. Well, let's draw a card. Excess mana. Uh, Wrath. Okay, I can use this to kill you. And then I think I'm gonna enervate and use you to draw a card. Ah, oh, you only draw one card now? You used to draw two. Ah, this must have been one of the cards that got nerfed. A bunch of cards got nerfed, and I think it was all dumb. I think every nerf that they did was stupid. Because almost all of them were in like, this card's too good, so we're gonna try to make other cards better. I'm just like, but then make other cards better. Don't make these cards worse. Make the other ones better. I think I ranted about this last time, but it's no less true now than it was then. It was a stupid decision then, and it's a stupid decision now. Let it be known how I feel about this. I'm desperately trying to kill him before Cthulhu comes out because I don't have anything to deal with that. I mean, I could trade my 5-5 five five and my 5 damage into Cthulhu, but I'm hoping to just kind of wipe him out before that happens. For the life binding. Oh, God, stop playing cards, you fuck. What does this do? Holding a dragon, gain one attacking charge. You're not holding a dragon. So why do you have the card? You must have dragons in the deck. Armor. He did. He played the Azure Dragon. Do you hear its call? He's playing a bunch of shit. Twilight Elder. End of your turn, gives the Cthulhu plus one, plus one, wherever he is. Okay, so you're currently at 18 health. Let's see, how much damage can I do this turn? I can do 14 damage now. If I just kind of rush him down. I think the rush game might be the better way to go. I'm gonna hold on to Starfire because that's five damage kind of any way you slice it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put you into taunt or into charge form, and we're just gonna try and rush him down. Okay, let's see. I think I only have one Starfire in the deck, but I do have another swipe. And getting both of those would be would be lethal. Thune comes out. So he does its damage randomly split amongst all enemies. Okay, that's what Kathun does. I was I I was wondering. Because I read the card and I just simply I simply forgot what Kathun did. Uh, but that's what Kathun does. This does draw a card, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hope for the best. Uh yep, that's lethal. I must safeguard the the wild. Okay. Somebody got some new cards and was so excited that he just wanted to use them, thinking that the meta would change. Nothing popped up. Didn't. Oh, there we go. There was just a delay. Oh, there we go. I got three packs just for playing. Awesome. I'm loving this. So I'll get five more packs by winning another game, and then I'll be able to buy like the however many fucking packs I can get. I can get 28 packs. So we'll have 30. I'm so bad at math. So I can get eight now. I can get 28 more, meaning I'll have 36 by the time all is said and done. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good amount of packs. I mean, what, people pre-order it got like 50 packs? So, Malfurion holy shit. Versus Khadgar. I haven't faced you yet. Knowledge is power. I must protect the wild. Khadgar. 
Must be the new, uh, buyable, you know, um, hero. I think that's all a waste of money. It's just a fancy skin. I mean, it's not- he's not even gold. He's animated, but he's not gold. So, what's the fucking point? It's ten dollars per skin. Fuck that. A big ol' fuck that. It's an insane amount of money. I'm kinda bummed we're not playing on the actual, um, Whisper of the Old Gods map. There's a- there's a, a new one that they made. Um, that looks pretty cool. Um, it's like one of the old ones that's been infected, so. Hopefully we'll be able to see that, uh, sometime during, uh, today's round of Hearthstone. Maybe next time, I'm not sure. We're playing Dragnarg. Alrighty, Dragnarg. You got anything for me? I mean, you have your hero power, so you can- You can kill that. Observe and reflect. And you probably should. Also, fun fact, they got rid of the sorry emote, and now it's WOW! Fuck! Well... World of Warcraft. Uh, like, I can't be, like, a sarcastic asshole now. I'm sorry. You know? Now I say things like, ASTOUNDING! And FANTASTIC! And shit like that. Which I suppose could still be construed as sarcastic, but... Doesn't have quite the same oomph as completely wiping their board and doing, like, 50 damage and then going, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I hate these fucking guys. He could play like nothing next turn, and I'm still gonna swipe and kill that. It it cannot be allowed to live. Someday I'll be just like you. Oh god. Oh the like the, the worst combo. That didn't count as a spell. He he didn't even play a spell. Well, you're dead. So enjoy that. And I'm gonna trade because fuck that guy too. Cause fuck that guy too. Okay, turn five, Azure Drake is probably the direction to go, but I might do Harvest Golem and Wrath, depending on what he puts down. Servant of Yog Sauron. Beneath the ground, shuffles three, ambush into my deck. What do those do? Um, whenever you're drawn, you summon a 4 4 Nerubian. Into your opponent's deck. Yeah, okay, so he gets the Nerubians. I don't get the Nerubians. Alright. Damn. I thought that was gonna be super cool. You know what? Let's do uh let's do this. Kill him. And of course this guy got nerfed too. Now he's a 2-2 two -two instead of a 2-4. Fuck. Like, uh, a lot of great cards are now shit. A lot of great cards are now shit, and it is a huge fucking bummer. I'll tell you that for free. Big ol' fucking bummer. There we go. Let's get some shit out there. I think we'll probably Azure Drake and we can Wrath for four damage with Drake out. Let's see what he plays. What are you gonna play, Dragnarg? I just need to win this one match, and then we can open up a bunch of packs, and it's gonna be awesome. I just need to win this one match. Can I light your fire? Twilight Flamecaller. One damage to all enemy minions. That's pretty good. That's really good. Who's the biggest threat? You are, you do the most damage, so let's throw you down. I could enervate wild growth, but I don't see the point. So we'll do that, and then I can just throw down the iron bark next turn. And we'll have another taunt. Frostbolt. Followed by a trade. Followed by yet another trade. I would have, I would have used the hero power. Uh, oh, okay, well I guess you can. Locked and loaded. Actually, putting down Iron Bark means he can trade into it, but he can't trade into this. Right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He can't trade, but he'd have to burn all of his minions into it and his hero power. Wanted. Spell Slinger. Thank you for Forgotten Torch. That's good removal. Naturalize! Oh, what a dick. Thanks for the cards, I guess. Stampeding Kodo. And ambush, which means he gets a Nerubian. Oh, cool. That's nice. Ow. Okay, let's see. Oh, God. Destroy a frozen minion. Okay, that's that was useless. Hmm. That's quite a board he has there. That is quite the board he has there. Alright. Let's kill something. I don't have a lot of removal, which is a bummer. 
And I guess we'll play that. Do you have anything else? It's not, it's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. He's got a lot of great stat minions out there. See, I was able to wipe my board and not actually lose anything. Oh, God. Yeah, this is somebody who's got the new cards and actually knows what they're doing. Why would he do that? Mom. Cast a random spell for each spell. Oh, okay. So he cast a bunch of spells automatically. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Can I kill that? I can. I'm still probably gonna die though. I must safeguard that. I'm gonna kill that. Uh, if we play this. Enervate. Enervate again. Right? Yeah. So I can do this. Mom! On you. And then kill you with that. And I'm still dead. Well, I got rid of him. That's all I care about. I can see. Damn it! Maybe it's just play two games. Do I have to win both games? I think I do. I think I need to win both games. Damn. Alright. Well, we'll try again. We will try again. I guess next time will be the card opening episode. If we if we win this round, each year we'll have a new theme. That's really planning for the long haul. Yearly themes. That's a that's a long time. I must protect. A lot of shit's gonna change in this year, man. Okay, we'll toss those two. We'll keep the demolisher. I'm gonna break out my new D20. Fifteen. Okay. I might win. I might win. The odds are good. Not with that hand, I'm not gonna win. Thickest Leaf. What a fascinating name. I want to know the history behind that. Oh, hi, my name is Thickest Leaf. My dick is so long and round. I, I don't know. I was making a penis joke, but it seemed to be coming off rather complimentary, and I didn't want that. Dang. Take that damage to the face. Where's your thick leaf now, bitch? Of course, I have like no other plays for a while, but we're getting some early damage in, which is nice. I like it. I mean, maybe Are all you can. Oh, okay. Oh, look at you. You have a Cthulhu deck. How fucking original. Anyway. Nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop that in the face and hit you for one. There we go. Kill that guy. Awesome. I wish the damage was removed off Cthulhu when the Beckoners of Cthulhu die, but nope. And Cthulhu's 10 cost. Yeah, okay, so I don't have to worry about Cthulhu until like Do you have turn the 10. Oh my god. Why would you run the risk of destroying Cthulhu? That's the whole point of your deck. Is Cthulhu? Why would you, why would you gamble like that? I don't, I don't quite understand that. I mean, hey, you want to gamble with losing Cthulhu and turning all of your cards into legendary minions? You fucking go for it. But you know, you're gonna, you're gonna change Cthulhu. Even if you get another Cthulhu, I don't think you get the same buffs. You know, you're giving that one. See, you're right. You're writing everything on Cthulhu. I don't, I, these, this whole new strategy, this whole new meta is so wrapped up in keeping Cthulhu around, ah. it doesn't seem very practical. I never liked that. When your entire deck relies on like a certain combination of cards working out, those decks tend not to do very well Just in my experience, you know? That's a good card. That's a great card. That's. That is a killer card. You should use that Where way more often. Keep going for him, I guess. Anyway, as I was saying, like, you know, you'll have like those, you remember when the fucking um, Grim Patrons came out and every warrior deck had the Grim Patron combo? If you don't get that combo, that deck sucks. You have to, you have to land the combo. You have to get the cards in the exact right order. I like decks where there's variety. And it doesn't really matter what cards you get when, as long as you get cards like in turn order, you know? This deck in particular doesn't really rely on a strategy. It's assisted by a strategy, i.e. the mana rush. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of the deck, but you don't need the mana rush in order to be successful in the deck. 
you know? So that's... That's kind of what I'm driving at. The thing that keeps getting bigger. Love that animation. Uh, just as a side note, I think that whole thing is amazing. So. Get past that, you cock. Anyway. Like, I don't really know what type of deck I'm going to be making with all these new cards. Probably not a, um, oh, fuck. Probably not, like, a straight-up Cthune deck. I'm probably going to use, like, elements of cards. Like, um, I don't want to structure my whole deck around the new stuff. I'll use as many new cards as I can, but I don't want to strategize around one core element, you know? I want to have some variety in there. And you're not going to get that if you structure it just around one thing. Anything else, or you get? Oops, I broke a diamond. Now Cthulhu has taunt. That's a dangerous thing to give it. Giving that thing taunt. That's frightening. Yeah. Fuck him up, Rag. We need some old school legendaries. None of this new school bullshit. It's time for the old champions to roll in. The old gods are dick compared to the original heroes. Like Ragnaros. Okay. He's drawing cards. You can't kill it. You can throw everything you got into it and you still can't kill it. What's your, what's your play? You regretting getting rid of my 510? Probably not because you had to get rid of the 510. Thought steal. I don't think I have any straight up removal in my deck, dude. So I don't I don't know Just what kind of help you think you're getting from that. Nah, uh, he's playing the long game. Go for the face! Or he's just not even attacking. What the fuck? Go for the face! Don't do nothing, you idiot! A natural mistake. I'm letting you know you fucked up. You should have gone for the face! There was no penalty for you going for the face. Now you lost out on three damage because you didn't attack. You idiot. God damn it. I mean, I'm glad he didn't, but fucking come on! Play the game correctly! I don't like losing against people who don't know what the fuck they're doing. Or winning against people who don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't like either, actually. Oh, no. So, the Golden Idol. What are you doing? There are some pretty good cards in my deck, but... So, you got the Ascension Shield from me and the Loot Hoarder from that. Okay. What are you gonna do now? Nothing. Alrighty. Well, let's uh, do that. And I'm going to play. What am I feeling? I'm feeling Starfire on you. Just so we can get around you. Punch you in the face with eight. Please kill the 4 4. Thank you. Good job, Rag. Uh oh. He's got 10 mana. Did he have 10 mana last turn? I don't think he did. No, I don't think he did. Cthune can be played now. He must have it in his hand. He's thinking about it. I probably should have saved the Starfire. And Doom, fuck. Cthune is my uh, plus two, plus two. He still doesn't have it. Can't play that. I won't kill it. See if we can get a good card, maybe. Demolisher. Let's do Loot Hoarder and Demolisher. Don't hit the Divine Shield. Don't hit the Divine Shield. Don't hit the Divine Shield. Fuck. All right, well, whatever. I suppose I had to go away eventually. Okay. Oh, uh, this is stressful. Still got a lot of good cards in my hand, though. Let's see. What are you going to do? That That's Cthune. I knew it. Like, he was, he was debating it. Ha! You didn't kill Rag. He's going to trade into Rag. Ah, you cock. All right. I, I do have silence in the deck. Uh. Well. Mind if I roll me? Time to slow Cthune down until I get some silence. Although silencing it's still going to return it to a 6-6. Six, six, um, which is much less of a problem. 15-15 uh, with taunt. That's a big fucking problem. I knew I should have saved the Starfire. Fire. I knew that was Cthune. Kept looking at it. Kept debating. Wondering. Destroy all minions with two or less attack. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> this bodes ill. 
That's a mighty Cthune. Oh god. Oh, no, he's made it more powerful. Oh god. Alright, give me a card. I need some silence. Enervate. That's not silence. Where shall I speak? Damn it. Damn it. I'm I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. I only have eight cards. Nope, it's not gonna happen. It's so not gonna happen. So here comes 17 damage to the face. Nope, 19 damage to the face. Double taunt. To your fear. Christ. My shield for the Oh fuck off! Ugh. That's disgusting. That is. I that is see. disgusting. Holy dog shit. Alright. I'm gonna win a match off camera, get as many decks as I can, so when we come back, we'll have a bunch of shit to open up. So thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all next time for the card pack opening episode. Have a good one, guys.